Uh, I think I might have said this to you once before, but remember Michelle Rodriguez? Mm-hmm. And she got a, like, a DIY or whatever. Did she? Yeah, it was like years ago. Why? Uh, she got to do it yourself? No, 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 sorry. <laughs> uh, DWI. Uh, DWI. Uh. Um, which she did do herself, to be, to be fair. Um, so hey, celebrity. You're not a great celebrity, but you're a celebrity nonetheless. Yeah, that's a so, uh, bullshit. you're gonna do um, uh, community service for 75 hours. No. Uh, okay. We're well, gonna go to jail then. That's fine. Wow. Took the jail. Wow. Dinner time for like a week or something. That's wow. There's. She's hard like he, that, huh? You know, a lot of people say that heroes no longer exist. <laughs> But I say no. Fuck the community, says Michelle Rodriguez. I'm gonna do me. She took a chunk clean right out of me. Watch, watch Resident Evil the movie again for the first time in a while, and I just love that line by her. She's like, hey man, she still fucking bit me. She took a chunk clean right out of me. Right out of me, yeah. Like, yeah. like is that the best take? Oh, you're Jesus. not going away, are you? Maybe you can hide. Or run. Eventually? The other one disappeared. Yeah. Here, let me save it here. Yeah, that's good. That's a good idea you had there. Let me save it here. You should save it here. And then we'll see if I can draw his, like, his aggro. And then run away. And, and then you can just knock him over. Right. Oh! <laughs> That's scary! That was that was a scary. He's gonna be right there! He's gonna be right there. Should I try? You saved so. Hey! Hey! I want Krom to say in the top corner, that was scary. Holy shit, that Dementor coming right at you. I ghost peed. Right over there. Dementor my arm. coming right at you. Kirby right at you. <laughs> right back at you. Right back at you. Thank you, thank you. You would know. Oh my god. Alright, that should be all four. Was it? It should be. I felt like you, that's like your third one, but I don't know. Uh, there was nothing, the one at the beginning. Nothing, yeah. Nothing really happens when you've done this. You just have to like know Talk and then the go to the, the quest giver. Garden Artistry. So that's another fusion to do. Uh, but the problem is that, like, it's giving me these messages for things that are, again, they're all sharing ingredients, so I have to, like, pick which one I specifically want. Um, that's them RPGs. I'm gonna go with her, because she doesn't have, um, uh, she needs to catch she's, up. She's, she's only really level, not too bad, she's at level 27 now, so. Yeah, she needs to, she needs to catch the fuck up, but, uh, but she still has no, like, 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 specials, for example. Yeah, right? no, that's the actual really bad part. Um. Still with you instead. I don't know. I don't really think that Phantom is really an enemy. I think he wandered onto the stage and he wanted to perform for us and we just murdered him. For no real reason. You know, Eleanor, it would be a lot easier to aim if you just stood still with the bow and arrow. It'd be way less cool. Yeah, but this is Hollywood. Yeah, it would be way Way less cool. I gotta jack him up and I gotta jump high. But it makes it so much harder to do it in midair. Nah, man. Hollywood. You ever see those videos of like, um, it's like it's showing you like crazy ass training of like, uh, Kim Jong Il's uh, personal bodyguards and then no. Like, there's like the videos of like those guys and like Specs Nas training and shit. And I just remember seeing this video of a bunch of, a of dudes. Japanese idol. Like, it's <laughs> training <laughs> that. Running in a line. Uh, oh, ooh, what is it? Okay. All right. No one nearby. A bunch of dudes running in a line, jumping and doing basically a mid-air cartwheel. Like, think about riding at the end of MGS2, Sons of yeah, Liberty. Yeah. So you're doing that, right? Mid-air cartwheel uh, above, like, a little fence thing. 
and while you're perfectly upside down, you have a knife in your hand and you throw it into a bullseye. Huh. It's fucking crazy. Jeez. And idols can do this, you say. This is this is what idol training is about. You have to. That's what Barry's Sometimes trying to teach us. Those green meats, ooh, they get hairy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you never know someone right between the eyes. Okay. You never know when you'll have to do an upside down knife throw bullseye to save the world. It depends on the job, you know. Whether you be a singer or a dancer or an actor. So you find it weird, just like because you just saw uh, it's cute, but like, hey, it's cute. Let's do your training. Yeah, sure. And then the scene just was like, all right, let's take a break, and then you just stop. What are they training them for? What are they actually? We don't doing? even still know nope. what. What? Uh, what do I want to say? What Dance profession? moves? Singing? What profession even Acting? was? Acting? I bet you it's just the bullshit. I bet you it's what just you just the way to, to smile and nod and shake hands and... You know? Damn it, you didn't do it. Okay, then it must have been the first one. Okay. So that would be the one to the south. Let's go... This... Yeah. Way. I yeah. want to say that way. Uh, oh. oh shit! I fucking looked down for a second. And I thought, oh, as soon as I saw him. Yeah, yeah. All right. Run away. You know what? Yeah, you. you, you Bye. Save a little while. Ago. Bye. That's a hero. A hero knows when to run. Even the heroes know when to be scared. Shit, man. I didn't want to bring this up. Don't tell me. What? Fort Minor's not happening? Fort Minor is not happening, no. But Mike Shinoda's new album is. But that shit is not Fort Minor. Oh. It's just him kind of... Hey, everyone. Be positive. And the kids... And oh. just, it's not even remotely hip hop. It's just very ballady pop. Oh, he's singing? He's just singing, not rapping. Like, just, just singing. Really? It's not great. It's not bad. It's Damn. just, it's not for me. I mean, it's he, not what I want from him. Like, he was never the singing guy. Yeah, he would sing on choruses here and there. Yeah, but, yeah, but I mean, yeah, but, he but, wasn't the singing no, guy. No, but Chester obviously. was the Chester. fucking singing guy, and, and clearly we can't really do that anymore. Yeah. Clearly. But yeah, it's just, it's not Fort Minor. It's not even called Fort Minor. It's just called Mike Shinoda, and it's the name of the album. It's coming out in June. I mean, and people were getting hyped. People said, uh, I think Luke did you into it, but this is like months ago. Like, yeah, there was one ago. song that came out. And he released like three songs, and I listened to all three. Like, I gave all three an honest shot. I'm like, no, it's just, it's just not what I like to listen to. No, 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 no. Just correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, like. Minor is yeah. just Mike Shinoda. Yes. It's not Mike plus Ryu and, and, and Machine Shop and all the crew. I, I assumed it was the, a producer, but he, he called whatever it was this collective Fort Minor, but it was primarily just him. Like, it doesn't have to be produced by Jay Z to be Fort Minor. No. Okay, so. I wouldn't think so. So it's like if, if, if. Uh, Gambino, Childish Gambino, were to release an album just called Donald Glover Presents. Yeah. And then he's just singing songs. Would it be, would it count? Like, does, does, um, 808 and Heartbreak count? Because it's just Kanye rapping over it, it's, auto you're, 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 No, you're, cause you're the same guy. It's, it's like, does is, Mankind count? Is it a side? Does Cactus Jack count? Is it a Gaiden? It's all the same man. Yeah. But it's not the label. The only thing that where it's very drastic, like the lead singer of Slipknot started his other band, Stone Sour. But those are different people, fuck you. It's him and another Slipknot guy. But they took off the masks and were like, yeah, my name's Corey, you know, and it was completely different songs. That counts. That's a, But that's different people. That, no, even it's if, not different people. Even if one person... Wait, wait, hold on, what? It's not different people? You said he made a different band. He took off the mask. He made a different band, but it's still him and another bandmate. Like, he took one of them with him. Oh, yeah, yeah, band. no, that's fair. That's fair. Like, if one person goes away, 
That's that's but fair if too. If Childish Gambino releases Donald Glover, that's still Childish Gambino to me. Well, I remember. Remember? Okay, remember Liquid Eighty Two? Oh God! Right? They were, they had shitloads of bands, Angels and like what? Are, what are they? They fucking had. Ba there was something bands. called Boxcar Racer. Yeah! Holy shit! <laughs> Boxcar Racer, oh, and I'm shit. pretty you sure. Did it. Pretty sure it was almost the same people. No, uh, but the, the other guy, Tom, he went nuts and he started talking to aliens. And yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. So they didn't have him in that at all. Right, think. okay. Because we want to make music, mm -hmm. but he doesn't want to. And you know, like like yeah. most F and Talib are individuals, but together they're Black Star. Yeah. But you can't just take the name. But the point remains. What was my point? The point remains is that. You can't separate the man and the music. Audio Slave has one man different, and it's a completely different thing. It is. That's very true. And if, they, if and if and if uh, Chris was trying to rap, then you'd you'd have a slight comparison to make, but you can't because he's not. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like uh, Velvet Revolver. Oh yeah. That was like two halves of two other bands yeah. to make one big Super shitty grand. band. <laughs> I'm sorry. People you're like not, that. You, you're not, and you know what? A lot of people aren't either. I'm sorry. Yeah. In terms of the Ulatoid mega bands that, they, <laughs> yeah. I, that came about that time, like, yeah. I loved Audio Slave, mm. but, like, I fucking wouldn't shit on Velvet Revolver to put out a fire. You see, the thing about, like, I hate to, like. It's a cool name. Like, I hate to just, like, to pare it down to, to, to dumb. Brass tax, but, yeah, but, um, but you will anyway. Rage against the machine had crossover appeal. There was there was crossover appeal there, where like, you know, you you would get hip hop audiences yeah, interested yeah, yeah. in what the fuck Zach was shouting about. Yeah, and uh, Audio Slave didn't quite have that. Yeah. No, it's 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 a, it a more narrow uh, demographic they're going for. I'm gonna for I, I, sure. God, I. I feel like I never shut up about this. Like it just comes up too often. But um, either way, I mean, it, it was just it, the point. What was I trying to say? Point is that Mike Shinoda, yes, calling it Mike Shinoda and not Fort Minor is just implying the type of music that he's trying to. Yes, make. I think that's accurate. Okay, all right. They're not great songs for me. Actually, I'll give him a gander. Yeah, I can I can send you. If you just go to like MikeShinoda.com or whatever, mm. and like the, the, the okay, like here's the thing. I can I can perfectly exemplify what this type of music is. The music video for one of these, I believe it's called Crossing the Line. You know when your music video it takes place in several different scenes, but it's all stitched together like he's singing the song yeah. consistently. Yeah. So one of the scenes is him standing in a group of I want to say. 18 to 24 year olds and they're all like standing around him and everyone's smiling everyone's really happy and he has a little like tape recorder and he's clearly playing the song for them okay and that's dubbed out yeah that's yeah, out. yeah 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 and yeah, he's yeah. just like he's doing like yeah yeah he's just snapping his fingers and everyone's just kind of swaying to the sides that's it that's the type of music He's not screaming, he's not grabbing a child by the shoulders and screaming, Machine! Oh! Here we go, here we go, yeah. Yeah, he's not asking anyone to remember the name. Right, and he's not quite rocking in stereo. He's, yeah. He's taking control and letting everybody know. He's not taking the high road going above you. Right. And this isn't the last time that he's gonna trust you. It's not that. It's not that. But it's not lounge music. Like, it's not... Because your, 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 descri your descriptor is like snapping his fingers and just kind of like yeah, I'm telling jaunting you the vi from I'm telling left you the to right. Visuals, okay. The okay. movements, the, 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 the songs, like they're interesting in terms of like how they're composed, but they're just, there's no bite to them. There's no like, you, you know, you're not going to listen to this if you want to get hyped up, which is all I did listening to Fort Minor. Yeah. Fang Breaker. We're going to have to ditch Fang Breaker. What is it? It's a light attack that lowers Where's offense, oh, yeah, but that's okay. not as good as Horse Armor and Worm Slayer. Yeah, okay, fair So, right. Fangburger mm -hmm. can go. Please go. Fangburger can go. I don't want to tell you to go. Call a you cab to, to bring Fangbreaker home. And Lex Knight can stay. Well, yeah, there's tons of room. 
Okay, that was fun. A million unities ready. We'll do them on the next... Eleven. We'll do them on the next lap. The next second or third lap or whatever. Um... So this is floor two, and it's basically looking like the map is, is doing the same thing. Oh, shit. Uh, seems like you're not gonna be touching on the ground, though. You're just gonna be going around. Right, let me just enter these doors in the upper floor. Lantern room. It looked like it was done in the room font. Oh, God. When is Best Fiends coming out? Dude, I want to say every week I bug Mark. <laughs> Because he's yeah. always posting, like, oh, I'm going to be at the showing of, of best FREMs. Mm -hmm. Best uh, FREMs. <laughs> I'm going to be at the, the screening tonight in Texas. I'm going to be at the one in Glasgow. Like, he's going all over the world. And it's right now, it's the last time I looked, it's only playing in Toronto. Hey. And maybe one place way, way out west mm. for Canada. And fucking a few days before I went to PAX East, it was playing in, in right next to the fucking convention center and Since then it just stopped playing the most limited of limited the limited most things. limited of limiteds Take so yeah it and remember this is volume one what hey. you didn't know are you wait what it's volume Shut one up, they up, step it's up. like kill bill <laughs> god volume one is out now in wherever bad movies are shown but Volume 2 is coming out later this summer. And that's the, the, the thrilling sequel? Ah. Not even the sequel. I think it's just cut in two. Oh but yes, God. the sequel, like, you know, functionally. Volume. Not about. Not a lot of movies get pushed as volume. There's one that I can think of right Kill now. Kill Bill is the only one I can think of. The, the last Harry Potter was, I don't want to say. But, th but didn't they just say Part 1 and Part 2? Yeah, it was just Part Maybe it was Part 1 and Part 2. Volumes is a Kill Bill thing. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. Maybe, maybe for, for, for the, uh, using that particular uh, nomenclature, sure. But, like, I think also uh, Hunger Games did it, too. But I think it was also called Part 1, Part 2. The volume. And you know they're like, let's just call it Best Friend Part 2. He's like, no! Gotta put the volume in, Mark! Well, then why not call the first one Best Friends and then the second one Best Fiends? What about, like, Worst Friends? Not as good friends. I don't know what- I mean, what, does I still don't understand what the movie is. I was gonna say, is there even a synopsis? No, uh, no. I saw a trailer that made gate- that took away information I thought I had about the movie. And I'll see people tweeting about it, and Mark will retweet it, Greg Sestero. And none of his retweets of the- what people are saying, their quotes, they're never negative. But okay. they're not positive. Okay. I, they just describe the movie. No one can say anything. Uh, resistance. Let me see something. Okay, so this session is gonna have him reflect the elect blizzard. Or was that? No, no, that's not what that is. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Sorry, I'm stupid. Let's we'll see what happens. <laughs> He just blocks Lock. it. Lock. Okay, Lock. that's what it is. I mean, I'll take that. That's better than than, than reflect. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, is there even a synopsis or a like? No. I mean, I guess there is, but I never really seen it. Like, I don't know. I still don't really know what's about. I watched the trailer and I didn't know what it was about. I don't trust that. And not in the good way, like when Force Awakens came out. No, no, like, oh, they're not showing us the plot, but they're showing us things that I, I don't know. You know, it seems like it's like only God forgives or something. Yeah. Or Neon Demon. Yeah. Dude, Neon Demon's I worse. I than remember only you God told forgives. me. Yeah, and I didn't. And you, you, I, you fucking yelled. I, in, st in, <laughs> I still don't believe you. Yeah, I know it's worse. I still don't believe you. Um, because there's not memorable lines like firstborn dick and all that. Like there's less to even what talk about. Uh, uh, did you did you fucking peep that Predator trailer? Yes, I did. Okay, hot takes. Uh, well, it was described for weeks because it played at uh, CinemaCon, which is the big, uh, I guess, movie convention that happens in Las Vegas every year. I've always wanted to go. 
that's when they show like early signs like they have the logo for the new Terminator movie right there okay stuff like that so I read the description of the trailer that showed up today like before like I kind of knew what I was gonna see time. okay and yeah it was like it, like all the things kind of helped me like get over it where all the descriptions like it's it's a teaser trailer it's not gonna show you all that much it plays it pretty mysterious. It's not really telling you exactly what it's about, but it doesn't really get you that excited either. Okay. Because there's just not much that you can really discern. Like, it shows the Predator maybe, like, once, like, two quick shots. But at the end of the day, it's being directed and written by uh, Shane Black, who did Iron Man 3, and uh, The Nice Guys, and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. He's really good. Um, it has a good cast. Uh, you know, what's his face? Um, uh, Thomas Jane and um, Key of Key and Peel's in it. Yes, I did see that. And uh, there's there's some interesting bits like, oh, okay, the Predators are evolving by taking bits of things that they like through different planets and they're just getting more interesting. I'm okay, like, where, was, where was that? that uh, I, I someone, someone says that line in the thing. In the trailer. Hmm. They're like, they're evolving, they're getting smarter or whatever. Which is... Does that actually mean anything, though? I, it seemed like in the descriptions I read of the trailers and the general synopsis is that that seems to be the main thing of the movie. That's all. Like, it just okay. seems to be like they're going to incorporate tech from other... Like, you're going to see shit that, that, that they've never done before. Oh, crap. I assume so. So... That's all I really have to say is that I'm excited for the movie. It's still not... That wasn't a great trailer. Yeah, basically. I, I It didn't leave you with much to much go on besides who's in it. And even then, it didn't really show... You know, it didn't really... There's a little kid running around. That's not great. The little kid in Iron Man 3 I thought was fun. Mm -hmm. hey, he's a good actor or whatever. And um, what's the other thing? Um... Having it happen in a small town again when, like, really, have the wounds healed from AVP Alien vs. Predator Requiem? Requiem? Yeah. Not really, because when you see Small it, town sewers. It smacks of, like, uh Yeah. Now, I've read that it doesn't exclusively take place in a little town. Like, they go to the, like, other locations, like military base, whatever. I'm like, okay, that's fine. As long as it's, like, not pizza delivery boys fighting predators and there's teens. It's a bunch of army guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 Key and like uh, Thomas Jane and uh, Boyd. Uh, what's the other guy? The main blonde guy is Boyd Hollabrook, who is that Reaver in Logan. He was always chasing Logan around. The guy with the metal arm. Okay. So he's a good actor. Um, so yeah, that's 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 the long of it. I'm excited for the movie. I'm hopeful for the movie, but the trailer was not great. Uh, to be fair, it's the first footage ever, and I'd like to see a more elaborate like. Two minute thirty, you know, trailer like mm -hmm. most movies we get to really, really discern. Okay, this, I get a bunch of new action figures at the end of the day. You so. do, you do, you do. This is gonna repel. So let me see what. Um, the right way to handle this is because I can't choose to not have a session go. And you can do whatever you want. So I guess I just gotta do regular damage and then switch out. Uh, I'll switch out Eleanor so she doesn't do that. that Eleanor! Okay. Do I even have a I'm gonna use my Mirage! I'm gonna try that. <laughs> okay, this is this is weird. I don't know. I've never done this before, but. Don't worry, Wally. We're all there for you. You do your thing. It's always rough the first time. Then it is! It. But then you get. Exactly. No Shessons created. And then Eleanor goes. You gotta be a surgeon here. Because if she did, uh... Yeah, the boat, okay. Man! It's Ski's fucking portrait was shitting its pants there in the background. Was it? Yeah, for some reason it was all freaking out and like, red. Uh, that's probably because of the reflect. Yeah, yeah. The, the, Those the, actually the, alert you to like potential it's, bad it's moves. A ba it's a bad move. Don't do it. Any port every sentence in Japanese is probably like, hey, it's bad. Maybe you don't want to do this. I got problems. There we go. There we go. 
Miss. Everyone miss. Fuck. Yeah, it missed. It did. It didn't take. The poison didn't take. But he gets two turns. No one got poison. Textbook. Um, one thing that I'll always be a sucker for, though, is if the new movie actually starts leaning harder into the establishment of Yutani on its own as yeah. a rising superpower that fuses with the with, with uh, Wayland but in the future. For a Predator movie, like for a standalone, I don't I don't think they would. But that's the that's the cool idea, it was, right? It, it was the idea that we, we really took away from AVPR that we were like, oh, cool. Like fucking Wayland Yutani is a fusion of the com company that knows about the alien bullshit and the Predator bullshit. If you didn't know, uh, the movie has a uh, Jake Busey playing the son of Gary Busey from Predator 2. Directly? Yes. Interesting. Okay. Like, let's just hire the fucking mm. son of the guy from Predator 2. The actor. Mm. Huh. There we go. Okay, that's cool. So sad that it was never able, like, the, I think the original idea for Predators was to have Schwarzenegger make a cameo. Oh, and yeah? He said no to it. Because I think he was he, still in politics at the time, so he said no. But basically, do you remember at the end of Predators, it's like Adrian Brody just like, you know, yeah, I won. And then, like, it shows little more little um, parachuting uh, cages being dropped in. Okay. And that, that, that was it. It was just, like, implying that those could be either more Predators or more people yeah. being dropped in. Well, I, apparently the, the original ending was a big uh, Predator spaceship comes down. And then Schwarzenegger steps out, decked mm. in Predator gear, and he goes, C "Like, you, oh, we need you." Okay. There's Predator civil wars okay, happening, okay. and he like holds out his hand. He's chomping a cigar, and like uh, Schwarzenegger said, "No." But it was it was just for that shot. It wasn't to set up a sequel. It was just. It could have been to set up a sequel, depending on how things went. But I'm sure Schwarzenegger's like, "No, I need to be in it a little more than that." Well, because the other thing too is I I don't know if it like it seems like Terminator is his is that's his thing. Like he'll always he's always coming something. back for home for Terminator. I still have right? to license my face to you to put on that fucking CG man. Right, but, but they fucking he'll always come home for credit, right? Like certain franchises. No and Terminator, not. Uh, sorry, sorry uh, for that. For he'll always come back to um, Last Action Hero if you ask. Or Rocky and 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 you know Junior. and Rocky and um um uh, uh, Rambo, right? Oh, did you hear about that now? Oh God, what? So you, I'll let you explain this bit. For whatever reason, you got. Irrationally angry a few years ago when they announced that like Rambo 5 is gonna be him fighting like Panther Men or like mutated monster guys. And I just remember you either on the podcast or maybe it was too early, but I just remember you going, Man, that's fucking stupid. And you're like, No, you should have just ended it. And, like Rambo 4 was fine. Like, I just remember you getting angry. Do you remember this? I don't remember this at all. There was some type of like genetic spliced thing, like Animal Man. I just remember you. Of going like man, that's fucking dumb. Like I don't, I think it's okay. stupid. And you're not even wrong. It's stupid. Uh, but now, just like a few days ago, I was gonna maybe mention it on the podcast, but I didn't want to upset you. But <laughs> for this thing, you don't remember. Oh boy. But uh, apparently, they're going forward with the Rambo Five. And initially, uh, like a year or two ago, they said, "All right, but it's gonna be like a reboot, with like a younger first guy. blood part three. It's gonna be either a reboot or like whatever. It's not gonna star Sylvester Stallone. He's not." Wow. Gonna be but okay. now, apparently, that's been reversed. And he's like, fuck you, you are gonna make me move out. So now he's fighting the Mexican cartel and, like, one of his army buddies, which I'm pretty sure I thought they all died, because in Rambo, in First Blood, he's like, yeah, they're all dead. All my friends are dead. But, um, their daughter gets kidnapped by the Mexican cartel, so Rambo is So he like, goes yeah. taken a little bit? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that's coming back. That's not... I don't like that sword. I like it. I don't like it. It's not my favorite. I thought it was the me cutter. Like, it's cutting me. Nintendo Miis. Yeah. So fucking, then, like, uh, I don't know. I was just like, there's a Bollywood remake of Rambo that looks awesome. Really? Yeah, they just got the rights. And there's a, there's a, there's an, uh, uh, an Indian, um, 
movie star. His name is Tiger. Okay. And th- yeah, that's, that's him. Wow. Okay. His name is Tiger, like something. Yeah. Okay. And uh, well, like, and like, he's playing Rambo. He look. It looks really cool. You know Singham? Yeah. Of His course. first name is Bajirao Singham, and that just means Tiger. Oh, okay. That's fucking cool. That's the same guy. No, it's the same guy. Let's perform Unity. It's on. Oh wait. Some games don't run well on this. Stingray, that looks cool. Oh no, we'll keep the other one and then switch to it. Uh, uh work, work. What else? Yeah, we can do that. This is like the work screen. This is basically an Excel spreadsheet. A little, a little bit. Um, the, 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 the. Fuck. Whoa, whoa. Rambo. Yeah. So like, it didn't work for fucking Conan. Right? Yeah. Cal Drogo did Momoa did not oh, yeah. in fact that thing was a, did take you ever off. Watch that? No, I didn't. It's bad. And and that you know, like I guess it like it depends on if it's a good movie or not in the end, I suppose. That's the final say. Uh hold on. Idris Rod I can do, but I also I only have three left. 